today to talk about the Rebel Blender. <sighs> this blender's kind of heavy, but that's indicative of good quality, right? You don't like your electronics to feel all lightweight and plastic. So, let's see what's inside. So first, we have this recipe book. Seems like it's pretty thick, so it gives you a lot of recipes, a lot of options. I know personally when I'm in a rush, you know, making smoothies on the go, I don't want to be too creative. I want to know exactly what I'm putting in there, so this will definitely come handy. It also comes with these two wands, and one is used for scraping down the sides around the blender, and this one actually goes inside the lid, and it's used to push down those ingredients that float their way to the top. So this thing is pretty awesome guys, and I'm not just hyping it up because it's a blender, but it's really sturdy, it's great quality, and the blades on this thing are super impressive. I mean, I definitely won't want my hand to get stuck down there. It also comes with a heavy duty lid with this cool little thing of a bob to help pull it off. So I'm not going to go into detail about every single feature this blender has, that would be super boring. Plus, you can just go to Breville's website and find all this stuff out. But suffice it to say, it does have a manual blending dial, and it also comes with a lot of presets to save time. Alright, let's get to blending. So, the proper way to make a smoothie is to add your liquid first. In this case, we're just adding milk. You can use any milk of your choice. Next, you're going to add your base, which gives it that creamy texture. So you can use soft fruits like bananas, but in this case, we're going to use yogurt. And I like mango, so I'm going to throw a few in there as well. And the final ingredients you'll add to your smoothie are your fruits and vegetables. In this case, we're using frozen strawberries and blueberries.